Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Monodeal MD863. These are a pair of wireless stereo headphones designed for television sets. So it has a connection range of roughly 50 meters and you connect it onto the back of your television and then you can enjoy your movies and live content without disturbing others uh, when sitting on a sofa, something like that. So they're not really traditional headphones. We've seen similar designs in the past and one large concern that I had was the quality of the audio audio because it actually uses uh, you know, very similar to radio frequency for the wireless transmission to happen. It's not using Bluetooth, it's not using a wired 3.5mm connector, and as a result it's not truly audiophile grade or hi-fi quality, but again it should work for uh, listening to some quick music or just listening to people speak uh, you know, when you're watching interviews as well as news and some quick movies here and there. So the design looks fairly sleek, there is a recharging kind of dock that you can place this by the cabinet when it's being uh, charged up and it uses contact pins for charging and the entire unit sells for under 40 bucks on Amazon which is reasonably priced I suppose for wireless headphones uh, in this in this category. Another manufacturer that produces similar products would be Sony if you look at some of their older TV headphones and you can get a better idea of how this technology works. Alright, so looking at the back of the packaging before we check out the design itself, you can see there are a few different channels that you can select from if your current channel is a little spotty because of similar radio frequencies in the air, and you can see some basic info about the uh, frequency range and response range of the headphones themselves, which seems average for this price point. And so contents of the packaging include the charging base, the headphones themselves, there's also a rechargeable battery that you can insert into the headphones uh, for the recharging to work, it's actually just a triple A battery. And there's also a quick start guide that documents how to set it up and uh, connect it to your television set for the first time. By default, the headphone uh, dock is connected to a 3.5mm auxiliary cable, so technically you can also plug this into a computer, mp3 player, or anything that has a st standard headphone port. However, since this is marketed at televisions, and some of your televisions will have an analog connector instead, especially for older versions, it comes with an adapter that transforms the 3.5mm into the standard uh, kind of uh, R and uh, L channels so you can get stereo sound from an older television set that uh, maybe doesn't use 3.5mm or an HDMI. So this is pretty convenient and again it will support the vast majority of monitors that you would want to use it with. So the charging base itself is made out of plastic, has a reasonable weight to it, and it uses again magnets and contact pins to begin the charging for the headphones. It's fairly easy to charge it, you simply pop it down, I didn't really have too many problems as far as it not charging the first time when I just set it down, uh, it doesn't require too much alignment for that process to work. And there's simple uh, LEDs on the front that tells you the status of the headphones if they're being charged and if they're turned on. Battery life is rated at roughly I would say 12 to 15 hours of continuous audio before you need to recharge it again and fully charging it up and takes less than two hours to complete so reasonable speeds for charging. There's rubber feet on the bottom that prevents it from sliding around and taking a look at the headphones design wise nothing you know out of the ordinary very similar to the aforementioned Sony uh, television headphones that we've reviewed many years back now so it's the same kind of tech that's going on here you have these oversized over the ear style cushions that goes around your ears to isolate a good amount of sound and even though they look quite bulky they actually are very lightweight since everything is made out of plastic so it's reasonably comfortable for watching you know a few movies uh, for extended periods without having too much stress on your head. There's an elastic band that uh, kind of cushions the top and stretches to fit most head sizes without any problems. A nice amount of uh, adjustability but these don't actually fold up physically since they're not meant as travel headphones. They're meant to to be used in your living room or bedroom and then stay in that one spot when you're done and kind of display it on a cabinet when you're not using them. So design, not anything too out of the ordinary, but it looks decent enough, even though it is made uh, out of plastic. So on the sides of the ear tips, we have access to the uh, Monodeal logo, and here is where we have the adjustments for the volume selection and also changing the channels. And the bottom here, we also have access to a dedicated power switch in addition to the contact pins for the power. So a very simple setup, and overall, uh, probably the best thing or the most unique thing about these would be the wireless charging base uh, that really is kind of a new feature that I haven't seen before. Uh, other ones require replaceable batteries, but uh, they also have a wireless transmission station that you just plug into your television directly. 
So anyways, let's talk a little bit about the audio performance next. Uh, like most of those older uh, TV headphones I've reviewed in the past, it has been decent enough. It's a decent stereo sound for watching, again, movies and for listening to interviews on television. Since it's not, you know, television channels over the air is never meant to be super high quality or high fidelity in the first place, these obviously aren't competing with Bose or BNO. Instead, they're just meant to be everyday, throw around uh, casual listening headphones that you just plug it into the television and forget about it, leave it on the correct channel, and then you can just simply pop it off and start listening to music automatically without the need to repair it using Bluetooth or turn it on, turn it off, stuff like that. So it's quite easy to use and it's, it does a nice job of what it's designed for. With that being said, again, it's not hi-fi grade or audiophile grade, so it falls suspect to the same problems of this category of TV headphones that we've seen over and over again, which is that sound quality, you know, isn't crystal clear. There's going to be some distortion, there's going to be a bit of static since it's using radio frequencies uh, and not, you know, Bluetooth. So it's not, you know, quite as clean sounding as what I would personally want from uh, music headphones, but for watching TV and for listening to monologues and speeches, it does the job. It gets reasonably loud, and as long as you're not in an area uh, where there's tons of radio f signals competing, um, it, it does a decent job, again, of, of playing back your sound. And again, the range is roughly uh, in, within the same living room space, and you'll still hear what's going on with relative fairly clean uh, performance. But if you're passing through too many layers of walls or you're wa wandering too far, again, that sound quality will degrade with more noise and more distortion and, and kind of hissing in the background. So those are pretty common traits with headphones that uses radio frequencies, and there's no real exception here. Um, so at the end of the day, I would say that these are a good pair of wireless headphones if you are buying them for a television, uh, if you want to give them as a gift maybe to your parents, to the elderly, and uh, so that uh, they can watch television when another partner is maybe sleeping, and it's very casual, it's very easy to use without too many complicated processes, uh, such as pairing, then this could be something worth considering. I like the fact that it has a charging dock that is oversized and very easy to pop in and use. With that being said, if you're looking for headphones that offers the best sound quality, then these are definitely not the pair that you should consider. So thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This was our video first look and a quick review of the Monodeal wireless TV stereo headphones.